Governor Seriake Dixon wants the present crop of military officers to imbibe the virtues of the sacrifices of fallen heroes and strive to protect democracy in order to avert undesired outcomes in elections. At an interdenominational Thanksgiving service held to commemorate the Armed Forces Remembrance Day in Yenagua, the Bielsa governor also called for more training, increased funding and the provision of equipment for the military. Ovia Tima George completes the story. Governor Siriaka Dixon leads the Legionnaires out for a Thanksgiving at the interdenominational service of the Armed Forces Remembrance Celebration. Though characterized by heavy dancing and the fanfare associated with the annual ritual, the program calls for sober reflection with a theme of sacrifice for a nation striving to deepen its democracy. While we do our best to honor the memory, while we do our best to support and encourage those in service, while we create necessary environments and conditions for peace, for order, and for stability, the least that people in uniform can do and should do is not to undermine constituted authorities so that people can have desired outcomes in our democratic enterprise. Now, Training and provision of equipment will aid the military in the fight to protect the territorial integrity of the nation. But the welfare of the retired soldiers is also of utmost importance. I appreciate my governor and members of the armed forces that were here to support us. I want the federal government to take care of the legionnaires. And even those who have sacrifice their lives and receiving pensions. Their pensions have not been paid. And we make a move. And I think the federal government is taking step towards it. As we remember our fallen soldiers today, let us not just pay lip service. A nation is the strength of the average soldier, trained, motivated, with patriotism and skills and backed up with equipment and with high morale, one has to call for more support and funding for the Nigerian military. Ovietime George, TVC News, Yenagoa.